As you can see, even your tough sanctions, the unprecedented sanctions that the world has put on Russia, has not yet changed the Kremlin's calculus. We had the spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, very close confidant to President Putin on the program last night, who said that it's going according to plan, maybe a little slower. We haven't finished yet i.e. we're going to continue this military offensive and repeating the maximalist goals. So it hasn't affected their calculation yet. Yeah, one first element, uh, we don't think that uh, in fact it is going to like they thought uh, when they decided to launch the war. i give you a few examples. They probably thought that uh, Ukraine would be defeated in a few hours or in a few days. It's not the case. Uh, Ukraine is resisting. Uh, probably they thought that uh, the EU would be immediately divided and that we would not be able to take united decisions. This was also a mistake. Probably they would have thought uh, that the United States and uh, the EU, we would not be able to be exactly on the same page and to and to strengthen this, uh, this alliance. It means that what's important, we must make sure that Putin will be defeated. It must be the common goal. Uh, this is a question of security for the future of Europe and for the future of the world. We have two tools, uh, Christian, uh, and the, the two tools we have in our hands, on the one hand, this is the Ukrainian resistance. That's why it's paramount to support as much as possible uh, the Ukrainian authorities with military support, with humanitarian support, with financial support. Two examples. We have proposed, I have proposed, to launch a trust fund solidarity with Ukraine in order to make sure that Ukraine has the money they need urgently uh, in order to resist and in order to, to run the country in those challenging times for them. Point one. And point two, we have the sanctions that we can decide and that we have decided. And that's why we are cooperating, we are coordinating. Coming back to the energy sector, it's paramount for us at the European Union's level to coordinate with the United States and with some other friends uh, in the world in order to be less dependent on Russian gas as soon as possible. Because by, by, by being less dependent, it means that we, we protect uh, the, the, the European market, we protect the European economic strength, and this is fundamental in order for us to be a loyal, a strong partner for all our allies.